Tonight, a Greater Boston starts with a history-making show of support for women athletes. For the first time ever, two WNBA teams faced off at the Garden. And with the league's meteoric rise in popularity, the Connecticut Sun called the home of the Celtics their home court tonight and capped it off with a win over the L.A. Sparks. As WBZ's Julie McDonald shows us, the lasting victory was in the stands. It's not unusual to see young fans watch in wonder inside TD Garden, but for the first time Tuesday, what kids saw were pros who used to be just like them, little girls who love basketball. And just being able to have some exposure and her being able to see people who look like her and in the sport, I'm excited for her and her future. So to have them here in Boston is awesome. And Hopefully I'm raising some future ballers, but it's just good for them to see. And beyond cheering for incredible talent, this game is an opportunity for many women to reflect on when they fell in love with the game. We're really excited about it. It's taken a long time. When I started playing basketball, we used to play six on a court. So there were two stationary and two rovers because we couldn't run the whole court. That was in high school. So now it's like... Playing a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> playing a skirt. Much has changed. It's changed for the better. But what never will is how the sun shined, making history in Boston. So exciting. Burton relatives couldn't contain their joy, cheering for Veronica, who was a Newton South star years ago, couldn't have predicted this making history at home. It's an amazing and very unique experience to have that not many people can say they have, so I think this is really cool. Julie McDonald, WBZ News.